we're going to swim with whale sharks. just took a quick uh, 20 minute bus ride over to the beach here and now they're serving us a huge breakfast and they gave us Dramamine and they briefed us on the whole situation and so now we're gonna eat some breakfast. breakfast looks so good. I honestly couldn't tell you the last time I ate breakfast, so I'm really pumped about this. And coffee. Mm. We're getting this breakfast included and we're also getting a small lunch near the end. This breakfast view is seriously amazing. So I feel like I was too excited, but now I'm gonna actually explain. We are going out with Ocean Tours Mexico to go find some whale sharks and snorkel and go to the beach. And I am just so excited. Of course, there's a chance that we might not see whale sharks, but I'm really hoping that we do because this is such a bucket list item for me. We got picked up really early in the morning. We're gonna be out on the water by 7.30 a.m. That is the perfect time to go out to go find the whale sharks because that's when they are feeding on the plankton at the surface. He said it's possible that we could be searching for three to four hours before we find a whale shark today, which could be a long time. Guys, we got some uh, sea turtles mating. <laughs> you have to look for them in the water, but they're usually very close to the surface. So don't look down, look in front of you. We found some. My heart is beating so fast! Oh my gosh. I see them. Do you see them? Wait, are these dolphins? Oh, are they? No, they're whale sharks. <gasps> there is so many of them. <laughs> oh my gosh! On the surface. Just please stay in your place. into the water we saw how truly massive these whale sharks are they can grow up to 40 feet which to put that into reference for you imagine swimming next to a school bus even though they were so much bigger than us they were so gentle and we were completely humbled in their presence We took the boat about like 45 minutes out to here and they didn't promise us that we would see them just because it's unpredictable whether we can see the whale sharks or not but there's a couple here and we're just swimming with them 
out of breath, but we're gonna go in again. This may look like we're casually swimming along with these whale sharks, but the truth is we were swimming as fast as we possibly could, and we could still barely keep up with them. But when you do keep up with them and you're swimming alongside them for a few minutes, it's absolutely magic. This time, I got a little bit too close to its head, so when it decided to take a turn, I was, well, in its way. Now here I am about to get a big old fish slap in the face, but it just barely missed me. <laughs> what just happened? That was so cool. <laughs> I cannot believe it. We were so close to it. Like, so close. I cannot even believe. I'm still shaking. It was the coolest thing ever. You can't even begin to imagine how big they are. And even when I was looking at it, I was like, this thing is massive. <laughs> when we jumped into the water, we had no idea this was going to be our most interesting encounter with the whale sharks. We were swimming alongside of it and all of a sudden it decided to take a hard right, as seen here. This is what it looked like from everybody else's perspective, but ours was a little bit scarier. As you can see right here, it just looked like we were about to get swallowed by this massive mouth. But they're gentle and they don't have teeth, so it was fine. But it definitely got our hearts pumping a little bit. As everyone else fell behind and it was just me swimming my little heart out trying to keep up with this whale shark, I couldn't help but think about how truly beautiful this moment was. And just for a few moments, it really felt like there was nothing else going on in the world. Jacob and I are so grateful for this experience and we will continue to hold it close to our hearts. That was so much fun with the whale sharks. There was twice where I was like swimming at its head and it like totally turned towards me. And I was like, oh gosh, oh gosh, don't touch it, don't touch it. It was like, oh my gosh. We want to respect it and like try to keep our distance, but when it's swimming right at you, like you just don't know what to do. It's so hard, it's so much fun. I feel like I was like, Holy, you cannot even begin to imagine how big this thing is. Like, even when I was right next to it, I was like, how is this real? You're just like, get in the water and you're like, okay, I gotta swim as close as I can to it. And then you just get there and it's just, Oh my gosh. Just, wow. And now we're at Isla Mujeres and we had some incredible ceviche and guacamole and it's actually pouring rain right now, but we're just <laughs> in the water anyway, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Just having a good time out here. And right before we went here, we visited the second biggest coral reef in the world. Yeah. After the Great Barrier Reef, it stretches from like here all the way to Honduras. It's- It was cool. <laughs> we saw a stingray, it was fun. This has been such an incredible freaking day. I'm so happy, such a bucket list item. We're so happy that we went with this 
company because every other company got there like 20 minutes after us. So for the first 20 minutes, we were like basically alone with the whale sharks and that made a huge difference. Yeah, because we were in there three separate times. Like the very three first- Three times? The very first time, it just felt like we were alone with the whale shark. And then like the second and the third time, we there, there were was more, a lot people. more people. So. so we got out there fast. We had to wake up extremely early for this, but it was totally worth it. Ocean Tours Mexico, it was amazing. Thank you.